Hello friends, my name is Stacy. I'm making this video for my chair yoga online teacher training about some quick tips to share your chair yoga videos on YouTube and some edit tips because now that many people are teaching online, whether on Zoom or pre-recorded classes or live classes, sometimes some obstacles, some chair yoga or yoga teachers have are the actual logistics of technology. So I am not a technology expert by any means, but long before the 2020 shutdowns, I was creating online yoga courses and YouTube videos and self-paced yoga and chair yoga courses. So I have some experience how to do this by yourself without a film crew and without have to hire someone to do edits. Now, if you absolutely don't want to do any technology, and have perhaps a friend or yoga student that might want to do a trade with you or just to help you out, they can of course record you teaching and post for you on social media or however you want to share maybe videos with your students. But for those that want to do this on your own or need to, I'm going to share some technology tips with some screenshots in a moment of the actual technology. So first thing, if you are teaching on Zoom, which you can teach for live classes where you can see and interact with your students, although they have a choice to be on video or audio. You have an opportunity on the bottom of the screen or you can pre-record it in settings to either record your Zoom classes during, in which Zoom will then have a link you can share with your students after. If you do that, you don't need to edit it from Zoom live. You can just share the link. I always record only if I ask first all the students if they're okay to be on the recording. There's an option on Zoom when you record that you can just record you as the teacher in the teacher screen or all your students who may be also showing up on video or maybe asking questions would also be in the video. Either way, for that reason, if I record it direct on Zoom, everyone on the class will see your recording because it'll be a red light, I believe, top left screen saying record. But I would always ask in advance to say, is there anyone that doesn't want to be recorded? So that's if you're doing it on Zoom Live Direct. However, if you're teaching not on Zoom, but you want to record from your cell phone, if you have an iPhone, no matter what model, you can record a video under the photo section direct from your iPhone. You'll have to, for those of you new to cell phones, there's a small circle of an arrow bottom right usually you'll have to press which will reverse the camera to face you then you have to set up your yoga mat or chair and I'll offer this video for yoga teachers as well probably who want some tips so you'll have to in advance see how far back you need your cell phone so you don't have to move around once you're on your mat or chair teaching so that your whole body is in the camera it's best that when you reach your arms up if you can see my hands cut off that that does not happen it can be a plain wall, such as what's behind me. You can move your couch away, like I'm here in my living room now. You can move your couch away and just have a plain wall. It doesn't have to be fancy. Editing for outdoor and audio is a separate topic, so I'll deal with that another time. But for now, just recording inside, like now, where I don't need a mic. I don't have a mic because it's a quiet room. So get a quiet space, I ideally a plain wall. I would want to move the couch away. You don't want too much behind you. So they can see you and focus on you and the yoga, maybe one picture in the back if it has a nice theme, but set it up prior. Right now I have my camera the long way, vertical. That might be okay if you're teaching like standing poses, sun salutes, and you want the whole body in the frame. Ideally, if you flip the camera horizontal before you tape, side to side, and you don't wanna move it around once you start recording, so pick which one you want. But if you can have your cell phone horizontal, not how I have it now vertical, but horizontal, you won't see black on the sides of the screen as you might now, depending on what camera you have. So horizontal may be better, I find. However, that's a small detail. But whichever you choose, set up your camera, press play. You then go to your yoga spot. Mind you, you're going to have a place in the beginning and end of the video where you're going to see yourself walking away from the camera and then at the end walking into the camera to press stop. So I'm going to teach you how to edit that out 
right from your phone and then upload it right to YouTube or Facebook or your social media without even have to use an edit program later or even having to download videos from your computer. That would be the easiest. So you'll follow along. I'm gonna turn this video off in a moment so you can watch these screenshots of how to do that. Once you make your video, you're gonna want to edit out the beginning and end where you're walking away from the camera and going to press the off button on the camera or maybe other edits if you're talking extra things you might not want on the video you're gonna to upload to social media. This could also be a video you wanna to send to your students. So one way to send these videos to your students but to not have the public view it is to upload it to YouTube. You need a YouTube account, doesn't have to be a business account, but you'll wanna create an, it's called unlisted video, not public setting, public, anyone can view it or search it. But if you create unlisted link when you upload the video, and I'll show you a screenshot in a moment, and you can do this right from your cell phone from when you made the video, you upload it to YouTube after you edit or don't edit the video, and then you create unlisted video. When you do that, when it's complete, YouTube will give you a link, unlisted link. That means only those with the link can view it. So it's not public. You can't just go on YouTube and search it. But then you can email your students the link and then they can watch your, say, 30 minute chair yoga class. It could be the live class you taught them on Zoom, but in that case, you might as well just record it on Zoom if they're okay with the Zoom recording. And then Zoom will give you a link so you wouldn't have to go through these steps. But say you're teaching your students a class live from on Facebook maybe, where you can't see them. Facebook will save the video, or if you do the same on Instagram, they also, then you can save the video right to your cell phone. But I'm talking about another video you're gonna make on your iPhone. So you won't be able to teach live while you're making the video from your phone. You'd have to be teaching from your computer if you're teaching live through another platform and then tape it. But say you're just making a class, you want 20 minute sequence for your students to practice. You film the video and then now watch the following steps, how to make it very simple for yoga teachers who aren't tech experts to then upload it direct from your cell phone to YouTube. And that's what I'm gonna show you. For those of you who want more complicated, but might look good if you have the time or wanna learn, you can do more detailed edits on iMovie on your desktop computer if you have an Apple. If you have other brands of computer, there's other edit platforms. But if you have iMovie on your Apple, you can, not what I'm gonna show you in the following steps, how to go from cell phone to movie to YouTube, but I'm, you can, it won't be in this video, you can transfer with a USB cord to your computer, download the video you made, and then open up your iMovie on your computer, upload the new movie file, and if I've lost you ready, ignore these steps but for those of you that are following me you upload then the movie on your computer say it's an apple you might have to upload it to iPhotos and then export it to your desktop you can write these steps down and then when you go to your iMovie you then drag that file in or the plus symbol add that movie file that was on your desktop that you imported from your cell phone pre-edited to your iMovie then on iMovie you can make edits such as the title, the closing, maybe your website, the name of the yoga posture. On my chair yoga and yoga courses, I have this in a lot of videos. I've used iMovie. So I would have the Sanskrit name, say forward bend, Uttanasana, on the bottom left or center, depending on where I'm showing up in the screen. And there's all these options of fonts and colors for titles. And then I also have like an opening circle called a transition on iMovie. Sometimes it fades, there's all these extra features. So if you do wanna edit, that's how you do it on your computer. But watch the following now for going direct from your cell phone, either right from the movie, right to YouTube, or if you have iMovie app, such as on a new iPhone 11, you can also do some edits right from your phone and then go to your, from cell phone right to social media, such as YouTube or Instagram, Instagram, I believe you can post up to a 15 minute video under the long video section. Instagram has a separate area or app for that. And then Facebook, you have a longer limit. 
but these are ways you can upload it for your students, either as unlisted or maybe you want to do public on YouTube that anyone can watch it and search it. You'll have options to put descriptions in YouTube, explain your video. As a yoga teacher, I recommend if you teach like I do online, always put your website. I'll always note sunlightyoga.com for chair yoga teacher trainings and courses. So let them know how they can find you online or your contact info if you want public to see it, how they can reach you for further learning. Enjoy the following tutorial. I pretend I'm a tech expert here, but I'm really not. But this is for yoga teachers who are not tech experts, how to get your videos out there in the world so your students or others can see that you're teaching so they can benefit from yoga. So let's turn on your technical brain and get ready to upload some videos to share with the world. Namaste. So if you're on an iPhone 11 and you want to edit, make sure you have this app, iMovie, on your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone 11, an older model, you can also go right from the video you make, as I mentioned before, right to YouTube. So you don't need this. This is only if you have iMovie and want to edit. If you have iMovie, for those of you, you're going to create new project in iMovie. From that, you're going to then pick the video that you just made in the camera section. So when you click on new project in movie, it then will go to all of your projects in your iMovie. And if you don't have any, there'll be nothing there, but click the plus symbol either way to create the new project. Then it takes you to your camera. When you click media and video or photo, you can choose. But if you're doing a video, you'll click media and it will show your videos. Once you click it, it'll look like this. You're gonna bring that video. It'll show up in your new project for iMovie. It shows you where you can add audio. Backgrounds will be a photo. If you have photos in your albums and iPhone, recent videos or other videos, it shows you all the ways you can add what you have already on your iPhone to your new movie. Now, again, this is for people using iMovie. Say you took this video, like the one on top, I would click and then it would show yellow. And then I add that. And then now that movie is gonna go into the project I'm gonna edit. Again, this is for those of you editing on your iPhone with iMovie. Look at the audio in the middle. If you click that, then you click voiceover. So audio and then voiceover. That's how you talk over the video you made. That's only needed if you didn't speak while you were making your video, such as now. I'm using voiceover on my iMovie edit while I show you these photos that I'm using in the iMovie app on my iPhone 11. If you spoke during your video, you don't need to do a voiceover, but say you filmed your postures and you didn't speak, you can then in the iMovie put the video there and then click voiceover under the audio and then speak your audio teaching. You'll have to reteach the class watching yourself in the postures if you didn't speak during the video. There's benefits to both. I don't use a mic for either. It's up to you. Once you add those videos or photos in your movie, whether you have voiceover or not, you can also add titles. You would click T for text on the bottom and you can add titles or Sanskrit names of poses. You have lots of options. Once you do that, then you save it or export it to your phone as a movie. So now whether you're gonna edit or you have the original movie you made in your camera section on your iPhone, next step is to get it up on social media, such as YouTube. If you have a YouTube account, you're simply going to go on the bottom of the screen. If you're doing this right from your iPhone under YouTube, you may need YouTube Studio app or go to YouTube and then YouTube Studio, which is where you add the videos. There's a plus symbol. So you would then add plus and upload your video. That would be the video you either made or edited from iMovie that's now in your photo section. And iPhone, YouTube, as you see, asks you for title, select your audience, is it made for kids, etc. You'll go through a few questions. The most important is when it asks, is your video going to be unlisted, public, or private? If you put private, no one can see it but you public, everyone can see it, and unlisted, only those with the link can see it. Once it's uploaded, it'll then give you a link 
or you can then email it out to your friends or students or you can post a link on your Facebook and now people can just click and watch your video right from Facebook to your YouTube. This was all about YouTube, but it would be the same steps more or less to create the movie on your iPhone direct, whether in the camera section or from iMovie, editing it and then saving it in your camera with the edits. From that, you can also upload it direct to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. So all of this can be done without even going on your computer for simple edited or non-edits. And if you don't have a newer version of an iPhone, you can still do it. You just may not want to deal with the edits on the iMovie. But you can still go in your camera, in your video, on your iPhone, and edit your beginning and end of the video so they don't see you turning your camera on and off. So when you go to your video that you made, you can click edit. You'll see this commands in your video that you made. You click edit. And then when you click on the video, you can drag the video to cut off the beginning and end part where you stopped and started the video. Then when you save it, it'll say save as new clip or save as the original video. So you can do either. And then once you have the video, you can then upload it to social media. So I hope this wasn't too extensive and didn't confuse you. This was supposed to be simple tech tips for those of you who are yoga teachers wanting to upload your yoga videos to YouTube, public or unlisted, just to share with students or for everyone to see. But it's really the same steps to then add the video, whether edited or not, to social media, such as Facebook or Instagram. If you're teaching on Zoom, you can do it through that direct as well. I hope this helped. For those of you taking my chair yoga training, as you know, I'm always available on phone or email at your convenience and mine so we can get in more detail if you have any specific questions for your own needs for the tech side, for these teaching online. And as my full training is about is not the tech side, but the actual teaching. So check in if you have questions. And I'll probably make this video for a while public for YouTube just because a lot of yoga teachers in 2020 are now trying to figure out how do I create videos online and start teaching online. So enjoy the learning curve for those of you who have one for technology. And as always, enjoy your yoga practice. Namaste and have a great day.